Will President Trump officially concede, do you think? I think he'll have to officially concede the race. Uh, the votes will be certified here in the next couple of weeks, and there's an inauguration scheduled for January 20th. So um, I don't know what official concession means. Uh, the uh, sort of stubborn unwillingness to engage in the transition is unprecedented. It's uh, harmful to the United States and, you know, potentially, I think, uh, raises risks for the whole world. Uh, so I expect in the next week or so, uh, we'll see some softening of the president's position and, and openness to at least the very basics of a transition in preparation for the peaceful transfer of power on January 20th. How damaging is this delay when it comes to the transition process so far? Well, so far, I think it's, it's not terribly damaging. It's really still early days. If it were to persist for weeks or even, you know, more than a month, I think the damage would be substantial. Uh, the uh, Biden-Harris administration has done what you know, every modern uh, winning um, campaign uh, for the presidency has done. They've formed agency review teams uh, to review where American policy stands. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to get to the point where they're going to really be in need of the highly confidential uh, briefings in order to really do their job and prepare for that transfer of power. This is a very delicate time in the United States, the time between a presidential election and a presidential uh, inauguration where there's going to be a change uh, in uh, administration. Uh, the president's daily brief, the PDB, is historically by now being given to the president-elect. That has not yet happened. And I think there's great risk to the world and um, potentially um, catastrophic, I suppose, if uh, the uh, president-elect doesn't begin to receive that highly confidential information in the weeks leading up to the inaugural. But thus far, I think, you know, the transition is underway without that highly confidential briefing.